Hello and welcome to the Stuff of Legends. We are back with another Hasbro Pulse Marvel Legends fan stream. The team here, I am Ryan in marketing, joined as always by Dan, also in marketing. Yo. And the man in the middle, Dwight in design. How's it going today, guys? Great, man. I'm it's, excited. Today's a good day. Today is a good day, one we have been looking forward to for a while. We are going to be talking fan anniversaries um, and revealing a lot of items, but first, wanted just to quickly recap some, some Marvel Legends news from the past couple of weeks. So first off, we revealed the Deadpool Legacy Collection. So these are two items that are up for pre-order now everywhere. These are mainline items, and they are based on Deadpool 2. Uh, we talked about this a little bit at WonderCon, but you've got Deadpool single-packed and a Wolverine single-packed. They were not available in these exact configurations back in 2020, mm -hmm. and 2020 was four years ago. So for a lot of fans who maybe weren't collecting Legends at the time, it might be tough to go back and get these movie characters. But now you can just go out and secure your Deadpool and your Wolverine here. You guys digging those Legacy Collection figures? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take those to see when we see Deadpool and Wolverine. Figs. You know what I mean? Pocket it's got to be pocket for figs film. for the theater, you know? For you, right? I, you, I could never go wrong with uh, with Wolverine, so. That's true. And we talked a little bit about this too uh, at WonderCon, but this is the Marvel version of the new mod pack for six Hasbro 6-inch six Legends. So as you see here, you know, great view of all the accessories, even a little bit on the side with, with Deadpool's unicorn. And it's a really sturdy construction, so that was one of the benefits to going uh, to this modular size as well. So you'll be seeing uh, more of these in the future, but these are for the Deadpool and Wolverine. Legacy Collection. Also revealed at WonderCon and, and up for pre-order now are, are behind us and on screen. So let's take a look on screen is the new, latest Iron Man retro blister carded wave. Uh, awesome Harry Moore art there. Who's your favorite in this wave, Dwight? We were talking about it two seconds ago. I love my girl Jennifer. She-Hulk is beautiful. I'm so glad to have got a chance to do a uh, much needed update of a classic version of her and I think she looks really fantastic. I love the coloring. The classic kind of 80s bright uh, green is, is really fun. So, Dan, who's your favorite in this wave? Yeah, so for me my favorite is Whiplash. I had the old Toy Biz toy uh, and I tried to find it this weekend but I couldn't and uh, I was really <laughs> sad. But uh, yeah, that's my favorite in the wave. It just, it just hits me in nostalgia and it's like, oh, I, I love that one. I think my, mine is, I talked about it at the panel, but it's the uh, Model 9 there with the big chunky boots because that reminds me of that arcade game, uh, Captain America and the Avengers, where uh, Iron Man and Cap and Vision, White Vision and Hawkeye. So it kind of reminds me of that, and it's an updated version from a, from a blister card figure we did many years ago. Cool. So I love that one. But this is an awesome wave, guys. Go out and get it. This is also a multi-channel wave, up for pre-order now. Uh, but let's jump into some new stuff, okay? As you see here on screen, what we love anniversaries in Marvel Legends. I'll remember uh, I was sitting with Dwight in a, in a meeting in 2017 and uh, it was with some of our Disney and Marvel partners and they said, hey, did you know in 2018 it's going to be the, Marvel, the 10th anniversary of Marvel Studios? And we said, oh, we didn't realize that. And they said, yeah, we're doing this big program. Um, you guys want to do some items for it? And we said, we said we would love to. So that was the genesis of our 10 item fall program. And we have them lined up here. You see in 2008, we did the Marvel Studios' first 10 years, that is the Mark VII Iron Man from the first Avengers film. In 2019, we followed it up with a 80-year celebration of everything Marvel. So we did three comic singles, right? We did Cap, Iron Man, and Thor. Uh, and then we did a couple of um, movie packs as well, as well as so an awesome... Some multi-packs. Yeah, it's comic multi-packs. We did Hulk and Wolf, First Appearance Wolverine, Juggernaut yep. and Colossus, yep. right? Then... Uh, the next year, 2020, in here is our uh, Logan. So this was kind of an unofficial anniversary, but something we did in Marvel Legends where we realized it was the 20th anniversary of the very first X-Men film um, back at Fox. And so this was that Wolverine uh, from, that, from that series. Then flash forward again to 2021, where we tapped into the Infinity Saga for the first time. We've since done more Infinity Saga type items, but this was that fall program in 21 with the Thor you see here from um, Endgame. And then in 2022, we had an awesome anniversary for Spider-Man Beyond, Ama uh, Beyond Amazing. Yes, that was um, the, tw the 60th anniversary of Spider-Man. So this is our Amazing Fantasy 15 first appearance Spider-Man. And then just last year, it was the 2023 Beyond Avengers Beyond Earth's Mightiest, effectively the 60th anniversary for the Avengers. So that was a lot, but a lot of anniversaries. And we it, start... Yep, go ahead. These are great. These are great. These are great, but... It's not the biggest anniversary ever. I don't think these have anything on what we're going to be uh, showing today. Oh, I yeah? think the program that we got coming for this fall is 
possibly one of the greatest collections of figures of fan wants, new exciting things that you guys might not uh, been expecting. And I think this year's is tops all of those. All right. Let's stop teasing them. Let's That's just get to it. Go. So let's take a look at the, the logo for this. All right, so this is the 85th anniversary for all things Marvel. And in Legends, what that means for us is we are going to be tackling eight comic-focused fan favorite items, and a lot of them are, going, are our favorites uh, for the year, I think. First up, because it is also the 50th anniversary of Wolverine, we had those shared fan channel two-packs. I think then... it more of my anniversary, but if you want to focus on his, that's fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and Dan teased this on one of our streams. He said there's even more Wolverines coming, and people were speculating. So, Dwight, this is, this is one of your faves? My faves, yeah, yeah. Uh, we're, we're both old this year. Um, but that's okay because it allows us to give you guys an awesome all new Astonishing Wolverine that goes along with the Astonishing Emma and Cyclops that we've yep. done recently. Yep. This is also our first super articulated uh, Wolverine. The articulation's been done like previous figures we've done in the past with the Spider-Man and other things yet to be revealed that'll be coming out <laughs> soon. Um, so uh, we have our first super opposable, uh, super articulated Wolverine. He's got alternate heads, he's got claws, he's got alternate hands. He's got some fun expressive hands that we haven't done for Wolverine in the past. Uh, he's got like a open grabbing hands. He's got pointing hands. So you can do a lot more variety to, with him other than just the standard uh, much needed claws and non-claw hands. So lots of extra bits and pieces. Uh, all pinless, double articulated elbows, knees, uh, the double articulation in the torso, butterfly, butterfly rockers, uh, swiveling shoulder pads, uh, Chef's Kiss Wolverine. He's on the same scale as all the Wolverines that you guys know and love of recent years. And I think this guy is going to look amazing on your shelf. He's got an alternate unmasked head too. Is that around here anywhere? Yeah, there it is. All right, so I think we have a photo of that too on screen yeah. to, to show that. So looking great here. Are the claws, are all the claw hands new? Uh, the claw Which hands... The claws, Pointing. I think the claws are existing, but the hands are new because yes. they all have the quilting that goes along with this costume. That's what I thought. So it's yeah. that combo of the blue glove with the with the knuckle ports and yes. the claws coming out. So that's new. And then you, Dwight was saying how there's like a pointing hand. Yeah. And there's an open hand that all have the ports properly. Yep. Everything's so got all, all of the proper little deco and love. But now you can have them, hey, you over there. No, stop. You know, you can have some more fun with them. Uh, some little bit more expressive variety for shelf uh, play or for toy photography. So a little bit of extra bits and pieces for anything and everything that you guys would want. It's probably the, you know, near the top, if not the top of uh, Wolverine figures that we've done to this point in time. Yeah, shout out to uh, Matt. Uh, he, you're going to see all this great photography from Matt shooting the galaxy. Uh, there's this one shot that I love that we specifically asked for, which is uh, the three of them that you mentioned of Astonishing Emma, Astonishing Cyclops, and yeah. uh, I, I just love the possibility of building out this team in the future. Getting right? a little closer. Yeah. Getting a little closer. Chipping away. Three in a year is not bad. Yeah. Right? I guess so, yeah. <laughs> it's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah, we like, we like, we're trying to do this more. Dan had this good idea to, when we're shooting new sure. items, if there's other One team time. associated items, he's like, Ryan, do you have, you know, those, that Cyclops and Emma? And, I'm a hoarder, we know this, so of course I have them in the office, and so I ran them down to Matt's photo shoot, and uh, we get some awesome images, so thank you, Matt. So that is the first item. This is going to be a um, mainline item, and we should say again, like this is our fall, typical fall anniversary program. There will be 10 items starting around August 1st and then uh, an eventual rollout. So first up is Wolverine, next up is another. Wait, 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 I just oh, want to tease ahead. everybody else too that we still have more Wolverines to come this year. And this is one of my favorites, but there's one more Wolverine this year oh, yeah. that I'm that. very excited about. All right, continue. So this was Dwight's favorite Wolverine, Dan's favorite Wolverine, still yet to come. It's the still hugest T Wolverine Still TBD. Ever. Still TBD. <laughs> All right. So okay. for, the, for this next figure, I think it is a, uh, an awesome upgrade to a, a figure from many years ago now, and it's one that we've been getting a lot of requests for. So without further ado, who do we All have right. next? We have Warbird. Carol Danvers. So um, what you have here is a, a super articulated female uh, body, uh, new sculpted uh, boots, uh, some great beautiful new uh, expressions and uh, uh, two different heads, some power effects, alternate hands, 
uh, absolutely fantastic. So she looks great. She goes, um, when was the last one we did with, with Radioactive Man? And, yeah, I think uh, it was a three the pack. Yeah, yeah. And, and Cap? Exclusive. Is it Cap? I think so. Yeah, so it's been a while, like, like Ryan said. So we're super happy to get her back out there. The likenesses um, are fantastic. We have a bit more, um, uh, which one's this one? Yeah, a bit more stoic with uh, uh, expression with hair, and then we have a bit more expressive hair with the uh, head with the hair blowing in the wind. So a little bit more extra variety for you guys to mix and match and do whatever you think It looks great in that flying pose. We've got a pose uh, with her flying through the air with that hair. Um, here's... Yeah, I mean, the, yep. the, the poses are amazing. The, these new uh, bodies that we've been working on for a while, getting to debut them and get them out there really gives you a lot more expressive poses. And uh, obviously, with uh, the skilled uh, artisan that Matt is, he can make these things look. He makes them sing. Where can we find this guy, girl? This is going to be <laughs> a Target exclusive later this year, so stay tuned for more details on when that pre-order will, will go. It won't, be, it won't be right away, so stay tuned for more details. And then, yeah, this articulation scheme is perfect for kind of a powerhouse female character like uh, Carol here in her Warbird attire, so I'm really excited for this. Black Widow, super articulated, uh, was a fun item last year that a mm -hmm. lot of people liked. I think this will be in a similar vein. and also happens to be a Target exclusive, but um, stay tuned for more details on where to get her. And stay tuned for a few more super articulated things to come too. Oh, interesting. All right, so the next item, you can't have an 85th anniversary of all things Marvel without the best character, arguably, within Marvel's deep, deep roster. This is a version of Spider-Man that is new for Marvel Legends. Woo! I right. told Matt, if he cannot make this pose, do not shoot this pose. And I specifically <laughs> told him, time it at least for five minutes that he could stay on there. So... Yeah, keep going. <laughs> All right, so here we have Superior Spider-Man with amazing deco, amazing backpack, and tentacles. Dwight, take him through this one. Yeah, uh, Superior Spider-Man. We did him once many, many moons ago, uh, sans backpack. So now that was based off of concept art that we had at the time. And as we know, sometimes from the early concept art to what you finally see in the books as these characters evolve, things change. And now we know what the proper costume looks like, so we can go back and revisit him and do a supreme version with all the right bells and whistles. So this version has the uh, correct uh, forearm gauntlet for, um, uh, what's, what's Doc's name? I'm just one Otto. Blank. Otto, yes. So as we know, this is not actually Peter. This is Otto impersonating uh, uh, Spider-Man, and it has the uh, Doc Ock-like superior tentacles. Um, he has both a backpack, a standard flat backpack um, that we had designed, not really being expecting uh, to be able to pull off what we did in production, but the real one with the tentacles is so well done. Uh, you know, it, I was like, oh, wow, that was, you know, next level. Um, they're super articulated. They can pose around. You can have a lot of fun with them, as you saw in the pictures. And we've done so many Spider-Man over the years. Oh, he also has toes. Uh, you know, we kind of always want to think of what else can we do that's different. And one thing that we noticed about this costume in particular, the way it was drawn, is when uh, Otto was swinging through the cities of New York, you always saw the reflective uh, skyscrapers and things in his eyes. So we thought that would be a, f a fun thing to try here. So um, as you can see on the Spider-Man in front of me, it actually has a new type of inkjet across the eyes that actually has the reflections of like city buildings and things uh, to make something a little bit fresh and new and different, something that we've never done before. But if that's not your speed, if you're not comfortable with that, that's A-OK. -okay. We're also going to be delivering a classic uh, head with just the traditional white eyes. So if that went too far and you know we feel uncomfortable, we wanted to make sure everybody had something that they could enjoy. And uh, we think this is another amazing uh, uh, Spider-Man figure with the thwips, with the fist, with the claw hands, um, all the fantastic articulation that you expect in Spider-Man. And he's absolutely um, all, the, all the hands. Great. All, all the, the hands, hands, all the toes. All the hands, all the toes. We're, all, we're covered off here. I love this figure. This is it, a good one. I love this figure. I might draft this one. Okay. Don't steal this one. We're already talking about our year-end draft. <laughs> Dwight was saying how he liked uh, She-Hulk for that. I finished uh, mine. This year. You finished it already? Yeah, I got it right here. <laughs> okay. See you later. <laughs> What's next? Boys? What is next? So we're going to keep kind of going up in size and scale here. So uh, I should say that Superior Spider-Man is going to be a mainline item as well. And again, all the pre-order info uh, will, will come out later. There's nothing really happening uh, immediately for these. We'll be rolling them out at a, at a reasonable pace so we don't overwhelm all the fans at once. But the next item is going to be a fan channel item. 
uh, kind of a deluxe size. Oh. And it's uh, in the Hulk universe, because that's, that's a big part of the you know, Marvel lore for these 85 years. And so this is a character that I think Dwight and the team did, did a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, right? And so this is a, a new update and a quite impressive one. Let's take a look. Awesome. Whoa. So what we have here is Scar, son of Hulk. And he is a massive scaled uh, action figure. Kind of see him. I'm gonna pull uh, Wolverine out again, just so you can get, see him next to scale of a traditional six-inch figure next to this big mammoth-sized character. He comes with a couple of really nasty uh, large uh, blades. One of them I was uh, picking my teeth with a live stream or two ago. Um, that was the uh, little uh, dagger that he was the that he can tuck into his sheath on his back, which is kind of nice. So he can stack, put that one on the back of his belt. Uh, and once again, this is another one just like Superior that the original one was done off a of very early art. And that was also just a lifetime ago. We've, we've grown so much since then. So um, this was just an awesome one to revisit. He's got butterflies, uh, great sculpt, uh, proper scale for a barbarian-esque Hulk figure. Two different likenesses, uh, one that is kind of uh, really, really angry with the hair blowing off the sides. And I really like this kind of just menacing look of one that's only intended to have the hair heavily sitting down in front of his face. So this guy's only there to be brooding and uh, very, very, very uh, pissed. And we think it looks awesome. Looks good. And uh, here you go, Scar. Tail of the tape. He is uh, over eight inches tall, maybe close to eight and a half inches tall. So yeah, he is a he is a hefty uh, figure all in one box and comes with some awesome accessories. That's a really cool sword, one of the coolest ones I think we've done. So this is gonna be a fan channel exclusive available on Pulse and other fan channel retailers, available for, available for pre-order in the future. All right, so let's move on. Um, these have all been single releases, so there are going to be uh, at least one no, there's a couple multi-packs. So here, this is a multi-pack that we're going to be looking at. And this is a character that um, fans have been asking for for an update. We've actually, I remember working on several versions of these characters, but I think now with our updated articulation and updated deco schemes, it's time to uh, bring them out again. So first up, who do we have here? We have Danny, Mr. Rand. Mr. Uh, Rand with a, a classic version of Iron Fist. Um, he looks really, really wonderful. He's got uh, all the Kung Fu hands you would need and want. Uh, I think he's got, I don't know how many, six or eight, right? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight sets of different types of uh, Kung Fu grips, which is fun. Um, a couple of uh, uh, Iron uh, Fist kind of uh, power effects from when he's uh, harnessing his chi. And two different expressions, uh, one uh, raging and one kind of stoic and calm with the uh, bandana tassels going across the back. So he also has toes. He's also super articulated, uh, all pinless. Um, his cute little uh, his little shoes, aren't they so adorable? <laughs> his little cute little uh, shoes. Kick you with them. So <laughs> exactly. Careful. <laughs> so um, we think uh, Danny looks awesome. And it is a multi-pack, so you probably can guess who is going to join him, but it is his friend. Mr. Cage, Luke Cage, that is. And yeah. this is an awesome figure. It's kind of like a simple civilian outfit, but there is a lot going on and a significant update since the last version, which was, I think, originally, right, like a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. It was a Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt set, Tower. and then it was yeah. redone as a Defenders comic box set. But this figure is a vast improvement. What do we have going on here? Yeah, and this looks, uh, the other one's versions uh, were kind of an armored up version of Luke, but. Through this era, he was always just drawn in um, a t-shirt with a pair of jeans. So this is exactly what you guys have been asking for and wanting for a long time. So uh, brand new jeans. Uh, I think this is mostly all, this is mostly new. Um, he's got new arms with the sleeves, I believe. Definitely new pants and shoes. Uh, he's got some knuckle dusters. Uh, he's got a angry expression as well as a very stern, ominous uh, expression. He also has a couple alternate hands and these two figures together uh, are absolutely amazing. This is, while Ryan said, it's kind of a basic design. It's a absolutely beautiful articulated action figure and I think it's gonna be um, the uh, centerpiece of all Luke Cage's that you have up until this point in your collection. So hopefully you've got some trooper bad guys lying around, some hand ninjas, some fist ninjas uh, for them to take on the heroes for hire. Tons of accessories. This is going to be, this is a main, mainline, mainline yep. item. Yep, so more details to come on the pre-order. Look at this already. Iron fist. And, Look at this right. assortment already. 
This is, what is that, four, five items? All right, so five the sixth items. item that we're revealing, the sixth and final item of the 10 of which we're revealing today, um, which were we gonna do first? We're gonna do the, this the, first? That, yeah. All right, so this, to take, well, we're gonna take them through this figure. One of the most requested figures on everyone's lists. Woo, Mr. Catch, Danny Catch, Ghost Rider. Yeah. With some notable updates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A, a lot of new here. Um, some new legs and boots and uh, jackets and sleeves. And uh, we gave him the pennant stare uh, deco in the skull head. And uh, he looks great. You know, he's got all the spikes on his one shin, his belt, his forearms, his collar. Uh, it's a great looking uh, new articulation system for Ghost Rider. Uh, it looks really nice. It's more in scale. The previous versions were a bit uh, lanky. They were on some older different base bodies, but with us going back and putting some extra love into him, we got him down to where he should be for all of the rest of your figures. So this looks great. It's not on a retro card. It's just uh, this time like the previous version, but this it also comes with an accessory yeah. that we teased out yeah. quickly before, and no one really knew what this was. It could be, some people were guessing Phoenix. That wasn't a bad guess, um, but this is going to go with Ghost Rider here. Yeah, so how Ghost does, Rider. So how does Ghost Rider use that? He doesn't like stand on that. All right, but maybe you know. it's just some extra fire accessories. Yeah. You know, let's, let's throw in like, some additional fire accessories. I, 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 fire. I'm a fan of fire, you know. I like fire. I, I, I don't, uh, you know, you got to be careful with fire. Got to be you careful. Burn. Gotta you, be just, sure. you just, like, put him, like, right here. That's kind of yeah. cool. There's, like, fire. So yeah. Like, uh, it looks all scary. You know, demons. Ah, uh, fire. Did we forget anything for, for Danny Catch here? I mean, we've done bikes before, right? We've done bikes. I, I still think this item holds up. I had this complete on my desk. It's a little dusty, uh, yeah. actually. Remember this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, it's, it's great. You know, it, it, I mean, you know, it, it serves its need. It's an awesome bike. Lots of cool fire and everything else. You can, you know, vroom, 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 vroom. But, you know, every once in a while, you got to, you know, upgrade, Good right? Catch. It's time to upgrade some stuff. So how about yes. 90s era Danny's motorcycle? Woo! So this thing is uh, really, you know, impressive, guys. It's got uh, fire effects, which are in, in uh, essence the kickstand for this bike. You can pop the front tire off. That's what this comes in. It plugs into the bottom, and now you can have the bike pop in a wheelie, which is kind of fun and something that we've never been able to deliver before. But you can pop the wheelie stand off, pop the wheels back on there, display them, and obviously Danny can hop on here as well. Uh, it's got a handlebar that has a little bit of uh, rock left and right to it. The uh, blast shield on the front of the bike actually slides down for kind of a uh, ramming uh, battle mode, uh, something that was in some of the comic books. Uh, one of my dear friends uh, highlighted that to me and asked that we were able to put it in. So awesome. we were glad to get that in there and it slides back up into place. And the scale is quite impressive. Uh, it's gorgeous, dark uh, metallics with a lot of washing as you know, anything that was being burned by Hellfire would have some tarnish to it. Uh, it's got the, uh, the logo on the, uh, I don't know if that's a gas cap or what it is in the top of the uh, center of the motorcycle. The little bits of uh, Easter eggs for Ghost Rider lore. And I'm absolutely digging and loving the uh, whole vibe of this uh, Hellscape figure. We've got I, one more image here. Yeah, that's the one. This. Woo! So this shout out to Dan, other Dan in our sculpting other team. Other Dan, other Dan. Yeah, he said, hey, as you guys are doing the photo shoots, you know, you can actually use these fire trails as kind of, um, what would you call this type of a move? Uh, uh, skidding a, type skid, move? Skid, yeah. yeah. You cure a slide, come on, guys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what was it again? The Akira slide. Okay, all right. I didn't. I didn't know. With a disdainful guys. <laughs> Come on, guys. These are learning experiences for us too, up here. We yeah. Some stuff. Absolutely. So, so yeah. One. Do we have one final shot of Ghost Rider there? We have. Uh, yes. So this is an awesome shot of Ghost Rider with his bike, Danny Catch. And let's just kind of take a look at this entire program, guys. Again, stay tuned for more details on pre-orders. But just to give you a quick teaser, um, we have some of the in-pack items here. Um, to show the line look. Again, the single figures are in that mod pack that we saw earlier with the Deadpool Legacy collection. So here is nice. just how big the hefty Ghost Rider box is. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be a big year for Marvel's 85th. Um, a lot of these items have been, we've been wanting to do for, for many years, but we haven't been able to because there have been things going on like... Big year and the biggest things are yet to come. 
and the biggest things oh. are yet to come. Yeah, That's we're, right. We're saving a couple for a little bit later, so just stay tuned because we're not done with this program. But uh, yeah, keep we're, your guesses we're out. We're not and... done with this program. So, Marvel's 85th, get ready. We're well, we're well underway, but there is still more to come. And there's even this mysterious additional Wolverine that Dan <laughs> keeps teasing, <laughs> which I remembered what it is, and it is, it is a really great one. Um, cool. So any, any, any other thoughts, teasers you guys want to do? Anything? I'm good. This was a lot of amazing stuff. I'm really, really happy. What you got over there? Oh, this thing? Just kind of um, like a stress ball? No, it's not very squishy. But that's the, that's the worst solid. stress ball ever. Yeah. Look at all these grooves. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. It's rock hard. Rock hard. Look at that. Don't get any ideas, man. I know you want to throw it at me. Normally, I, normally I'm a one-handed because I play basketball, but I'm just going to... You guys are soccer fans, so I'm going to do a throw and stuff. Okay, I got to... Oh, I got to... Judge my form on this, Am I supposed okay? to kick right. this? My two... Are we kicking this? Am I supposed to volley this back? Oh, my go. God. This might go. be bad. It's reminiscent of something. Oh. Ow. Good catch. Thanks. All right. Stay so tuned. Good catch the, for a soccer player. Stay tuned for the Hasbro Pulse. For more reveals, teases, shenanigans from your Marvel Legends team, thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Bye, guys.